How is it going out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Mario Sports Mix for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And click on the bell to be notified every time my new videos come out. You did vote for three characters. You voted for Ninja. And I think Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong? It was these three, I think. I know you voted for Ninja. I think it was, since I thought about it, it was these three. And I'm, we're going to do the flower cup now. Last time we did the mushroom cup, now we're going to do the flower cup for basketball. And let me know down in the comments below, what three characters don't we play as for the Star Cup? I would love to know. I've heard some people want me to do Mario and, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Like Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I've heard a lot of people say they want me to do. And I might do that. Alright. So we'll just skip these cutscenes right here. I know how to do all these moves. To, to do a jump cut, as soon as you jump, you have to um, press the A button. Now we're playing on Luigi's Mansion. This is definitely one of my favorite stadiums in this game. I love it. Now we're going to go back to be more consistent with Mario Sports Mix, hopefully. We started off with a three-pointer. And you have these ghosts here you have to watch out for. So you can pass to these ghosts and then you can do a rebound dunk when they pass it to you like this. So it's pretty cool. I really like the stadium a lot. Pretty simple. Are you kidding me? Let me tell you about the power characters like Donkey Kong and Bowser. They can dunk really fast. Like this. Watch! See how fast Donkey Kong dunks? So they're really good if you want to dunk in basketball. I want to show Donkey Kong special next. We already showed ninjas in the last episode. So... Here's Donkey Kong. So basically, he bangs the ground and then he dumps it. It's not really that that helpful. Because people can still jump up and block it easily. That was just a two point shot. So just there we go. So Mario plus Rapids, I definitely want to do that. So I definitely want to try that out and do it just because somebody asked me to. And here we go. Here's Diddy Kong special. He throws a banana that can stun his opponent. And there you go. It's pretty helpful, I have to say. I think Diddy Kong special is pretty good in all the sports. I love Diddy Kong so much. See how fast Diddy is? It's crazy how fast he is. I was trying to do Diddy's ace shot, but. Let's try to see if we can do it. Oh, 
Uh, we wasn't able to do it, but we was able to score a three-pointer. So we play as Ninja for a little bit now. That's Ninja's ace shot right there, which you've already seen several times. And Twenty-eight to three. There we go, so There we go. I just wanna get this playthrough resumed to two. I just wanna keep this playthrough going too. Cause punch out will still be going, but, but I wanna keep this game going too. And I'll do Mario Rabbids later. Like maybe after I finish punch out or something. I wanna show Donkey Kong's ace shot. If if I can do it. That's what he does for his ace shot. See that? I barely was able to see the visual cue to do it. That's Diddy Kong's ace shot. See that? Let's use Ninja Special this time. There we go! Ninja Special's really good here. There we go. 44 to 3. We're doing really good. I'm gonna let the clock run down some because I don't want it to take too, too long. I'm, gonna, I'm just letting the clock run out. And now we'll shoot. That's a three corner with one coin, so 48. Excuse me. There we go, 51 to 30. See how fast Ninja is? It's crazy, like, especially for being an all-around character. He's like Mario in his stats, but faster. Right. 55 to 30, we're doing really great. So we'll just pass it around a little bit. I'm just gonna pass the ball around. I'm just gonna let the in-game timer run out a little bit. Oh, they have star power, which star power in basketball is actually not, not as bad to burst like bursting it in dodgeball. Thank you, Donkey Kong, for scoring a three-pointer. 58 to 30. There we go. We won. That's the first match. So, let me try and, uh, so there we go. So I'm trying my hardest to win on these matches. Right. The second match, here we go. We're going up against Yellow Toad. We're going up against Yellow Toad, Pink, Yoshi, and Green Toad.
Start off with a three pointer. That's a good way to start. Start with a three pointer. There we go. Another three pointer, but with one additional coin added, so we get seven to nothing. And now we'll let the clock run down at least for another 15 seconds or more. Because if you keep scoring, the in game timer stops. That's one thing to keep in mind about this game. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, we scored before the train came. So we have 10 to nothing now. Green shells are really helpful for shooting. Uh, they really are. They're really useful. I'm glad we 100% we almost 100% dodgeball. The only three things we need to unlock in dodgeball are um, the Shadow Light Ninja costume, the Magic Red Black Mage costume, and She Slime. Which I will unlock eventually, don't worry. Let's, not, let's just focus more on basketball right now. And not even worry about those right now. Excuse me. Okay, so now we use Ninja Special. And we scored! For BAM! I like basketball in this game. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Mario 3 on 3, which, you know, I'm a huge Mario 3 on 3 fan. Yeah. Like, I was about to say this, um, it's hard to believe that, um, the Wii U sold poorly, that the Wii U had four sales, that didn't make as many Wii U games what I thought they would back there in the Wii U's lifespan, but they still made some great games for the Wii U, the Wii U was still a great console, like, it was still a great console, like, they still made some great games for it, like, I loved New Super Mario Bros. U, and I loved Super Mario 30 World, um, and I loved, um, and I loved Nintendo Land, and I loved Wii Fit and U, and I loved Wii Sports Club. And I loved, um, and I loved, and I loved Scribble Knots Unlimited. Scribble Knots Unlimited was an awesome game for Nintendo Wii U. And of course, I loved Mario Kart 8 and stuff. And then when they released the the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch had some really great games. Like, I loved Super Mario Odyssey. Um, the Switch is selling really well. Like, they had some really great games. Like, I loved Super Mario Odyssey, and I loved Super Mario 3 World plus Bowser's Fury. And I love the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I love Donkey Kong Country Tropical Furries. And I love the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, um, and I also really liked, um, what's that Switch game called? Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I also really liked that for the Switch, where you had the Super Mario Odyssey based levels. Um, the Wii, I think, was the first Nintendo console ever on, uh, and the Wii has some really great games. Like I love, I love the, I love Super Mario Galaxy. I love Super Mario Galaxy Two. I love New Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, and I love Donkey Kong Country Returns. I love this game. And I, and I also really like Punch-Out for the Nintendo Wii. 
Another Wii game I really like is Wii Sports Resort. I love Wii Sports Resort, and I love Mario Kart Wii. Another Switch game I really liked, I forgot to mention, was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because I really like it, and I love Mario Golf Super Rush, like I've already said several times. It, was, it turned out to be a really awesome game. Basically, this year, last month, they made a sequel to Mario Stikers Charge for the Nintendo Switch. They made a Mario Stikers game, which basically is a sequel to Mario Stikers Charge. And it's called Mario Stikers Battle League. Have you ever played that game? Just let me know in the comments if you have or not. I would love to know in the comments. I'm not a big fan of, of Strikers games. I'm not a big fan of soccer. Because I'm not really a big fan of soccer games, but I've never been too much I've never been too fond of Mario Strikers Charged. I mean, I don't think it's a bad game by any means. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying that that game is kind of bland and boring to me. I just never really, um, I just never really liked Mars Tigers Charge. Um, I never really liked soccer games, so. But. I'm glad they made Mark off Super Rush last year. Um, that was a really great game for the Switch. It turned out to be a really, really good game. Another Switch game I love, I love the Island Flight Simulator game where you can drive the airplane. Like, I flew it. The only airplane I've ever flew in was whenever I flew with, 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 with my great uncle. And my great uncle's name is Tim McGinnis. When I flew with Tim, um, he would take me flying at Morristown Airport in Morristown, Tennessee. Um, and he would, he would take me flying, um, from the Morristown Regional Airport. And I really enjoyed flying with him. His plane was awesome. And... I enjoy my YouTube channel a lot. Like, I enjoy doing playthroughs on my YouTube channel, I enjoy doing giveaways, I enjoy doing top tens, I enjoy doing, um, speed runs of different games. Alright. The final match of, um... The Flower Cup, here we go. This is a match I really like. Daisy Garden. This Daisy Garden is a da it's probably my favorite version of Daisy Garden. Um, because I love that you can shoot into Petey Piranha's mouth. And it's really awesome. And how he eats the basketball and stuff. I just love they can shoot it into Petey's mouth. See, like that. You can shoot in his mouth like that. This is one of my favorite stadiums in this game. But when it's closed, when his mouth's closed, you cannot shoot. But you can when it's open. You can dunk or shoot. Very, there was also a um, stadium like this in Mar Hoops 3 on 3. We're going to wait for Petey to open his mouth. There we go. Is that yummy or what? There we go. Come on, Petey. Open your mouth. Open your mouth, Petey. Here's where he kind of gets tired like that. Where he kind of gets tired and spit starts coming out of his mouth like that. And then that's when his mouth stays open for a while. Nice dunk, Toad. I was trying to do combos. 
Alright, let's use Ninja Special. There we go, we docked. Right on his mouth. Alright. Can I block Toad Special? Let's see. No! He, he stunned me with his mushrooms! He stunned me with those mushrooms. I've already done the top 10 favorite Wii games, the top 10 favorite Switch games, and the top 10 favorite Wii U games. I've already done those. I can't even do a top 10 favorite 3DS games, because I don't even have 10 3DS games. I mean, there's still some 3DS, because I don't have that many 3DS games. I but the 3DS is still a great console nonetheless. It's a great handheld nonetheless. Um, but they still made some really great games for the 3DS. Like I loved Super Mario 3D Land. Um, I loved Mario Kart 7. I, I loved New Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, and I also really liked Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. Excuse me. I just thought I'll talk about some of my consoles I have and stuff. I do have a PS4, but I, I still don't ever play my PS4. My PS4 is actually not in my game room of my house. My PS4 is actually in the den of my house. And I don't ever play my um, PS4. I just don't ever play my PlayStation much. I mean, I, I, I every now and then play my foot, the football game on there, which is NFL Mad, NFL Madden 21. I play the NFL game on there sometimes. But I still never play the PlayStation. I don't play the PlayStation very much. I usually just play like the Wii, the Wii U, and the Switch. Those are the three consoles. And I do have a Super Nintendo. Which the only game I play on that, like I said, is Super Punch Out. Um, I don't ever play Super Mario World that much. I mean, I have Super Mario World, but I don't play it very much. I couldn't get used to it as much as I could Super Punch Out. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I couldn't get used to it as much. So. A lot of people like Super Mario World and how it controls pretty decently is what they thought. But Super Mario World was really, really slippery to me. I couldn't get used to it as much as I could like the new Super Mario Bros. games or the 3D Mario games because um, it was just really slippery to me. I just couldn't get used to it as quickly. I couldn't get used to it very much. It was like very difficult to get used to. I just couldn't get used to it as much. Because in the, in, the, in the classic, I did the play through Super Mario World earlier this year. Um, um, I only made it to World 6 in that game because I'm not going to resume that playthrough because in, in the classic 2D Mario game, here's what's weird about them. Some jumps you're not going to make unless you run. Like, like, you have to run on this tiny little block. You have to hold the run button while you do it, and that's the only way you'll land on it. Because if you don't run, you're just going to fall off, and you're not going to make it very far. And just because of that, Mario was just really, really slippery back then when you started running. That's probably why I didn't really like the 2D, the original 2D Mario games that much. That's probably why I didn't really like the classic 2D Mario games that much. Um... I just felt like they were slippery, and I just felt like they were glitchy and stuff. That's probably why I didn't really like the classic 2D Mario games that much. But one thing I have to say about the new Super Mario Bros. games, although the new Super Mario Bros. games don't have as much originality as they should in comparison to other Mario games, but when it comes to control and when it comes to Mario's repertoire of moves, new Super Mario Bros. series is so much fun. Um, I love wall jumping, and I... I love the power-ups, I love wall jumping, and I love the controls. I love how they control perfectly, where they're pretty much perfect with the controls. 
Um, and that's also why a lot of them got the 30 Mario games as well. <clears throat> That's also why we really like about the 30 Mario games, is how... But one thing I have to say about the 30 Mario games, is that they have... Excuse me, that the 30 Mario games um, have a lot better... The 30 Mario games have really, really good level design and really creative, creative levels. That's why I love about the Galaxy games, like the Super Mario Galaxy games. And I just love how they control, it's so fluid. Like, it's so fluid with how they play. They just control really, really well. That's why I love about the 30 Mario games. And they just have so much variety. I love how much variety the 30 Mario games have. Like, the 30 Mario games are just amazing. That's what I really like about the 30 Mario games, is how much level variety they have. And how well they control. Because they're really, really fluid, and I love how pretty the graphics and the artwork looks in 30 Mario games. That's why I like the 30 Mario games more in 2D. But in general, I just prefer 30 over 2D. I just prefer 30 over 2D in general. So, there we go. We won. We have beaten the flower cup for basketball. We unlocked Daisy Garden for basketball. You got the flower cut. Play again for the chance to discover a new route. I finally made a Mario Sports Mates video today, as well as two punch out videos. Yay, today. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. And have a good one and have a great day, guys. Peace out.